Hey, what's going on YouTube? Nerd vs. Fat back again with another video. Today I just kind of wanted to go through some of the books I've had laying around that I really need to file away. Um, just wanted to give a, an update too to um, Genome Presents and Tacoma Comics. Uh, both of your packages should be going out tomorrow. I finally got them boxed up. Part of the delay is I, I'm terrified that sending them um this is my first time sending like a whole bunch of books to somebody and i just don't want them to come in damaged so um putting the final touches on those packages should have them out tomorrow hopefully i'll i'll get out into the post office before uh before they close um but yeah so we're gonna go through some books if somebody joins cool um I don't want to intrude on anybody else's live stream. I know there's uh, a bunch of them happening tonight, so just trying to get in early. Uh, first off, we had a uh, con here and uh, didn't have a whole lot of, of books to pick up or anything like that. So I went ahead and just dropped more than I usually spend on an action figure to get this Sinestro. Um, I've been on a a big Green Lantern kick lately. Uh, for those of you that don't know, it's my favorite character. Um, I'd like to say that Guy Gardner is my favorite, which no one usually does. But I kind of relate to him and his whole dealings with the Red Lanterns and stuff like that. So, anyways, I'm, I'm just going off on a tangent. Um, got this figure for a decent price. I picked him up when I first got into the, the con, and I was like, well, I mean, I don't really need him. And so I put him back down and walked the whole floor, didn't really find anything to spend money on. So I came back and I went ahead and bought it. Thankfully, I did at that time, because as soon as I was paying for it, another person walked up. And I guess they had done the same thing because they were asking about it and they were disappointed that... They hadn't come back sooner, so I'm kind of glad to have that. Um, hopefully, I'll be rebuilding my lantern shelf soon. Um, but yeah, anyways, the for after that we went to uh, Second and Charles, and uh, found this book. I think that this was on the the top ten list or whatever. Um, I'm interested because uh, Colby Smulders is going to be playing the main character. And I'm a big How I Met Your Mother fan, so I'll support anything that she's in. <laughs> and so I found this. had a $10 price tag, but it said, uh, what is it, 1 through 4. So I uh, guess it got separated from the other three issues. So I took it to the front, and I was like, any way you can give me a deal on this since it's missing the other three? And uh, the um, manager was like, yeah, sure. And then the employee that was there that I had never seen before, mind you, and I go into Second Charles like once a week. So, and I'd, I'd been like every weekend since they opened. <laughs> so I, I, I know what I'm doing for the most part. And he was like, well, I think that means that there's four issues in the series. And I was like, well, why doesn't it say that on the other books? And he was like, oh. And anyways, moral of the story, I got it for $2, which I'm good with because I'm probably going to just read it. And if it's good, I'll keep it. If not, I don't know, figure something out. Anyways, uh, random book I found. This is uh, kind of like a Brian Michael Bendis preview, I guess, of uh, different stories he's done. And I haven't researched it yet, but... If we're going along with all these previews being first appearances and stuff like that, I think it's fun to find them. But, I mean, I don't really, I'm not going to pay anything for previews. <laughs> um, but found this for $1.50. I think that would be the first preview of Scarlet. Not sure. Haven't done my research. So, if I'm wrong, correct me in the comments or whatnot. But for $1.50, I wasn't going to pass that up. And these are all over the place because I've been piling books everywhere. I probably got 
I could probably sit here for a couple hours, but um, I won't. And this book is actually really awesome. One of my shops had a uh, sale of a bunch of older uh, graphic novels and stuff like that. Pretty cheap. Everything was two bucks. This book on grading was actually only one. So I picked it up. It's really, really in-depth. Awesome. Shows you examples of all the different kinds of books, different kinds of damage, and the beginning of each section, it tells you exactly what you can have wrong with the book. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, let's see. Let me go ahead. Let's do something like this. So, for a 2.0, right, you can... Where is it at? All right. All right, hold on, hold on. <laughs> um, of course, I can't find what I'm looking for. Well, anyways, it tells you stuff like how many staples you can have detached and all kinds of stuff like that to fit into the certain grade bracket. So... If you're looking at in, getting into graded books, I definitely recommend finding this and giving it a shot. I'm actually going to take my headphones off, so... Hopefully it's working now. So yeah, I thought that was a cool book. Um, Just some random dollar bin books I found. Detective Comics 600. I don't think there's anything key about that, just a... A book that I thought might be a good read. Young Justice number two. I just really like the cover. Number three. Same story. Um, might be a good read. Found a couple X Files books. I really like the X Files. I started the series a couple years ago, and I I took a hiatus from it, but. Uh, I've been picking up the books whenever I see them. So here's zero and one. And I've never seen these Wildstorm comics from X Files before. I've seen the tops, and I've seen. Ooh, I don't remember who put out the other one, but I've seen the other ones. So that was pretty interesting. Um, find a couple of ash cans for a dollar. Winona Earp. Number one, uh, I started watching the show a while back. It was pretty good, interesting, pretty good, and I'm not really a fan of, like, cowboy-style stuff, which is kind of the vibe it gave off, but it was pretty cool. So that was pretty neat to find. So found The Thing 35. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm not sure, but I think this is the uh, first appearance of this costume as Marvel. Probably wrong on that. I haven't I haven't researched any of my stuff since I got it. So and I've had these for a while. But either way, that's a hideous costume. I <laughs> uh, picked up a couple of X Force books. Um, off the top of my head, I can't remember the artist that this is making a reference to. But oh, that's gonna bother me. But I mean, drop a comment if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> And that is issue 77. Also found 72, which <laughs> kind of a, a double thing there. Face it, true believer. I'm assuming that's a reference to Mary Jane. And um, then the other side, this is an offer you can't refuse, obviously. Um, speaking of which, <laughs> good segue there. Actually picked up a Grail book that I don't know if I've showed on here. If I showed it, well, I'm showing it again. Um, picked up Amazing Spider-Man 42, and that's the first appearance of Mary Jane Watson, where she says her iconic line, "Face it, Tiger, you've hit the jackpot." Didn't know what it was the first time. I'm completely honest. I saw it in the box, saw that the shop had gotten a bunch of older Spider-Man books, so scrolling through them. It's like, okay, this is cool. This is cool. I don't know what these are. 
Um, this one caught my attention, and I was like, well, I guess I'll look it up. And, yeah, I'm glad I did, because uh, it was a key that I didn't know I wanted until I found it. <laughs> um, beat up condition. Still, uh, covers attached. I don't think there's really any issues on the interior. Just the, the worn out looking cover. Um, but yeah, so I was super excited to find this book. <laughs> yeah, I still can't believe that I have that. Um, next few books are actually some books I got for Christmas. That tells you how far behind I am. Um, got this from my uh, brother-in-law, Green Lantern 20. Uh, first Jessica Cruz, or I don't really know. Um, I know between this one and 21, which is, I think is the first full, and then there's that other one where it's just like her hand, or maybe this is the one with the hand. Either way, something to do with Jessica Cruz, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, I love that book. And my best buddy got me this one, uh, Green Lantern 48, and it's signed by Ron Mars. And so, I mean, I love this book. I always love this cover. And, I mean, to have a copy signed by one of the creators of it, perfect. Mm, another great Green Lantern book for the collection. Let's see. Wonder Woman 63. I really like this art. Um... I'm not positive, but I think this is the same person who did the a few Batgirl variants that I think definitely went unnoticed and shouldn't have because they were beautiful. So, like I said, I haven't done my research. Sorry. <laughs> um, this is a book I've been wanting, but I didn't want to pay very much for it. It's the uh, Mockingbird 8 with the... Um, I guess, controversial cover. Um, I mean, I don't really... No big deal. I just like controversy, so... To find it for a dollar. Definitely pick that up. Uh, and back to this. Which I consider the first full appearance of Kyle Rayner as a lantern. Um, this also came from my buddy. Uh, I think he got a lot. I think there's one more. Which got mixed in here somewhere. But yeah, so that's awesome. I think I've showed this one off before. Uh, it was in my read to read pile, so I don't I don't think it's supposed to be right here. Hey, what's going on, Ray? Nice. Yeah, I've been wanting that one, but I don't want to pay anything for it. <laughs> um picked up this one, Mirror's Edge, number one. Never played these games, always wanted to. And I think uh, it could be one of those books where um, I know there was some, was it Sly Cooper or some other video game books that were picking up? I definitely think this could be one because for some reason these Wildstorm books, I don't know, they just seem to be harder to find. So might be something to watch out for. Uh, Dollar Bin, Green Lantern number two. Hopefully that doesn't say how the uh, story goes, that it's only worth a dollar, but I haven't read that one yet. I don't know what this is. Cover caught my attention, kind of gave me like a Resident Evil vibe. Just picked up Resident Evil 2 remake, so I was like, alright, let's try this out. Cloudfall, number one. Uh, it's a Kirkman book. Flip through it. Lots of nudity, if that's your thing. <laughs> That's about it. Um, snag some Green Lantern keys from Dollar Bin. Uh, I believe this is the first appearance of the Black Lanterns. Um, just a cool book. This one, I'm not sure. I'll have to double check. I think that has to do... It's like one of the first few appearances of the Butcher. Which is like the Red Lantern's uh, embodiment of Rage, I guess. Um... This one, I don't remember what this one is, honestly. Um, I've been just going through eBay, Green Lantern keys, 
I got so much knowledge up here on Green Lantern right now that it's kind of jumbled. So I think that's first Sinestro as a White Lantern. Or that one actually could be the first Butcher. Not sure. <laughs> um, this sick number 53 of the Green Lantern Corps, which has uh, Sinestro's daughter. This might be her first appearance. Don't quote me on that one either. Gorgeous cover, though. I actually think this might be a ratio variant. And this one I know is a ratio variant. 51. Flash is a white lantern. Sick cover. I don't know why that would be in the dollar bin. But I'll take it. Also in the dollar bin. Boom. One. Two. Tony Stark. Iron Man number one. Blank sketch cover variant. Okay. A little smudging right there. I don't care. I'll get the artist to draw over it. He says he has a long box full of sketch covers. He doesn't do. I... Someday I'll find an artist that'll do that for me. I have no idea what this is. Hinterkind. Something like that. It's a Vertigo title. Number one. I just really dig the J. Lee cover. Hopefully it's a good read. Probably not, though. Uh, we'll do these, actually. Going along with that J. Lee. Transformers, G.I. Joe, and uh, I didn't know I needed this kind of crossover in my life till I saw this. I can't wait to read it, too. There's number one. Damn, that's a good cover. Like, I can't even, I can't stop looking at it. This is a, I, I don't know how many are in the series. I only have one, two, and three. So, like I said, no research. We're just doing this blind. Damn, damn, damn. This is a good good artwork. And I believe they're all Jay Lee. Number three. Woo! Look at that Cobra Commander. That's one bad fool. Oh, and he's holding Megatron. Damn. Ooh. That's just cover that keeps on giving. Okay, but yeah. Need to do some more research on that series. Hopefully it's a good read. Okay, we're gonna throw another one of those. True first out there. I'm going to steal that that phrase. So this, I did some research into it, surprisingly. Um, it's some kind of like preview thing with uh, articles on upcoming issues. And I believe this is the first preview kind of appearance of Anti-Venom. Um, came out before the issue that, that uh, had him. As you can see, he's on the cover. Um, some of the barcode and stuff, in case you need. I skimmed through eBay. I didn't see any on there, which is surprising considering it came out in 08. And if you skip through here, oh, there, there's another picture already. Um, it's kind of got an interview with uh, John Romita Jr. Full page. Boom. There he is, right there. Pretty sure that's actually the cover from uh, that he appears on. That variant cover. Talking about previewing him. So. Boom. Here we go. I mean. Like, if that's not like a Spawn style preview, I don't know what is like. Full depth on this guy here. So if, if you like anti-venom, that kind of thing, I I recommend finding this book. Um, it's in the dollar bin at my shop. So I think that's, that's everything that's in here. But still, I mean, boom, he's on the cover too. I don't know how this book isn't isn't hyped more than that. But yeah, so that's definitely something to keep an eye out for. Hey, man. How you doing, poor man? So, Jen Bartell, uh, she's had some covers blowing up lately. That would show this gorgeous Robotech number five she did. That was a great cover. Uh, dollar bin. Okay. Here we go. Since you two guys are here, let me hit you with some heat. I know I haven't shown this one off, or at least not on YouTube. So, saw it in the case, 
debated on it for months. I finally cracked on it. Boom. Amazing Spider-Man, 194. First appearance of Black Cat. Now, it's 5.5, so it's mid-grade. It looks beautiful in the case, um, but you can definitely tell the spine wear. But that, that's pretty much it, spine wear, corner wear. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I didn't pay a whole lot for it, too. This is probably the most I've ever picked up. Hey, you did? Uh, we're in the club together now. <laughs> Um, so I was, I was on that fence for a while and I kept seeing it there and I thought if nobody's going to love this book, I'm going to love this book. So I picked it up. I was going to, I had a whole bunch of pops. I got out of the pop game, had some cash in hand. And I was like, you know what? Give me the book. So I got it. It's a new stand too. And I don't think, I don't think you guys were in here when it happened. So we might as well step back. Oh yeah, this side by side. Boom! First MJ, first Black Cat. Now give me some of that first Gwen Stacy. That's all I need. That's all I need right there. Ooh, I'm a Spider-Man collector now. Um, but yeah, I'm hot for both of these books. Um, that one I knew I want. This one I didn't know I wanted till I saw it. <laughs> um, I'm sure you guys have seen, but oh, I got a cracker open. Mm. Ooh, that's not the most satisfying ending panel right there. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, Mary Jane. But yeah, so I'm hot to have those. Um, let's, let's move on, I guess, to the stack. Like I said, I got a lot of books. If you guys want to pop into other live streams, come back. I'll probably still be streaming. Um, I don't even want to move this one out, but I don't want to drop it. Let's sit right there. Uh... Orchid number one, it's all or been. I've been looking for some, you know, off the wall titles to try. Tom Morello wrote this. I'm assuming it's the same guy from, uh, oh God, what band is that? Um, Smashing Pumpkins, there we go. Pretty sure it is. Um, haven't read it yet, looking forward to though. Along those same lines. Neozoic, it's one of those red five books, so I thought uh, they've been pretty popular lately i'll give this one a try and wow somehow i'm just now seeing the the t-rex behind her i just saw the girl at first so that, that's saying something i guess hey how's it going fat cat picked up the what the number two no reason ridiculous oh look at this thor damn that thor swole I don't know. Sometimes I don't know why I pick up stuff. I guess I thought it might be one of those weird first appearances that's going around. Um, just a what if. I, I like those stories, so pick that one up. Savage Dragon 3. Oh, gosh. I have it saved on Instagram. I saw this on somebody's Instagram. This is like the first published work of J. Scott Camel. <laughs> I don't tempt me, I will. I got time. <laughs> um, so first published work of J. Scott Campbell. I, I think Reggie had a hand in in uh, getting that figured out. I think I saw the tweets from him and whatnot. But if you flip to the very last page, there you go. Jeffrey Scott. J. Scott. And uh, just some artwork he submitted to Savage Dragon number three. So, I mean... You guys see that in the 50 cent bin? I say pick it up. Um, surprised that it is just now known that he did that. I mean, if you think about it, it's crazy that people who are big in the industry now, you know, 
say they wrote a letter a long time ago and it's just now being discovered. Stuff like that is crazy. So everybody talking about the bat wing. How about some spider wing? Um, been looking for this book. Another one of those weird books. I think it was recalled. I'm not 100% sure. Um, three bucks. <laughs> I've been... I don't know. I don't know why I buy these things, guys. Oh, Sinestro down. Spidey stick. Yep, that's better. Spidey stick. <laughs> um, I mean, does this cover need... Oh, such a good cover. That domino is gorgeous. Domino number eight. I should probably tell you what these are. Um, I wanted this when it came out. I've been hesitant to buy new books, though, because I just don't want to spend the money on them. But for two bucks from Second and Charles, yes. All day. Let's stick with that vampire theme. Don't know how to say that, so we're not going to say it, but it's uh, is it Lost Boys or something like that. I haven't seen the movie, so I don't know, but it's a gorgeous cover. Also, two bucks found it the same day. It's better. Let's go for another cover swap. Some Jaws. Craven. Boom. Necrotia. There we go. See, I probably would have butchered that. I don't I've never even seen this book in my life, but usually the Jaws looks all cheesy, but man, that's a good looking shark. I've started uh, collecting shark covers. Partially because I don't like sharks. Like, okay, so I'm kind of afraid of sharks, but it's because when I was younger, there was that Jaws video game for like the PlayStation, and you had to play as Jaws and break through a one of those tunnels. Yeah, that scarred me for life. I can't walk through those tunnels. But I love sharks. But I don't hate sharks, you know? Love hate. Um, but yeah, another awesome book. Got this one. Actually, let me get another copy of that one. I found like three that day. There's uh, the Pulse. I think this is the first appearance of Jessica Jones and Luke Cage's kid. Um, I'm, I don't know if it's this one or the one after or one before or something like that. But it was a dollar, so I mean, why not? Sticking with a dollar. Week 11, 52. Uh, I think that's the first uh, Batwoman. It's real dirty up here. Actually, I was thinking I might take a stab at cleaning books, so I might as well start with this one. I cleared out the shops, uh, Batwoman books, like a year ago of these for dollar, two dollars. So I mean, when they started going crazy, I was like, okay, I already got them. Um, hey man, swing back by afterwards. Uh, I'll probably still be streaming unless my wife gets home. Yeah, it's a dope book. Did I sell? No, I didn't sell them. Um, I don't know. I might sell them. I don't know. I I I'm a sucker. My wife was like, "You can't." I was telling her I was thinking about getting a CGC membership so I could send some books off, maybe sell them. And she was like, you can't do that because you'll just keep the book. And I was like, damn, woman, you know me so well. But I didn't say that. Can't give her that. The pleasure of being right. All right, take care, man. Um, But yeah, so I've got like three or four of those. That one and then is it the blue and red cover with Lex Luthor? I can see it in my head. I think that one has something to do with her or something. Got those two. Uh, let's switch it up. Oh, our germ. Yeah, you guys know. Um, Mr. Miracle, number six. Um, saw this in an antique store in the city that I just moved to. And I was like, okay, that's cool. I saw it in the app. I saw it was the first Female Furies. I was like, okay. I don't know anything about them. Left it there. I mean, it's, it's in terrible condition. Came back. Five bucks. I was like, okay. Um, and then it was on that. I think it was on the hot list. And I was like, well... Five bucks is not bad. They also have First Big Barda, which I can't tell you how much of a temptation that book is, except that it's 45 bucks and it's maybe a little better condition than this. <laughs> I I might. I'm probably gonna I'm gonna hit that point where I need that first Gwen Stacy and I'm gonna I'm gonna sell some books. Cause I mean, like I that one's cool. I might keep a copy. I don't need three copies. So, 
I'm a hoarder. Um, so yeah, I need that big bar to too. Now that's a woman. Um, let's drop over here. Oh yeah. About some Superman annual number 11. I've heard this is an amazing story by Alan Moore. I haven't read it yet, but it was in the dollar bin. Like, that's not a dollar bin book. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to dive into that. Um, I picked this up on eBay off a whim. Uh, it's a premier issue of Comic Scene. Uh, just a really awesome looking Jim Shooter Stan Lee cover. Um, thanks. Uh, I think I paid two bucks for it. I put it in a bid and I forgot about it. And then I just got that you won notification. I was like, okay. But I mean, it's a really cool book. I haven't had a chance to flip through it, but if you're looking for a Stan Lee book, there you go. Here's one of those things that I bought. I don't know why I bought it. It's that preview magazine with Dead Rabbit. Hey, Discovery Bay. Um, I mean, I guess I got it because of controversy. I told you guys I like to collect controversy. So that's as close as I get because I'm not going to drop any money on Dead Rabbit number one. So, I mean, previews it is. Um, let's do this. But some A Next, everybody's favorite series. A Next, issue number one. Um, I actually picked these up when they had their sale at Second and Charles for like buy, I don't know, buy several and get some free or something. So yeah. Um, I didn't know if there's any first in that book, but I don't know there is in this one. Oh yeah, definitely. And so uh, this is the first American Dream. I know there was some talk that maybe she could be one of the ones replacing Cap. I doubt it. But still, that's a cool cover. I think this series could be un underrated. I haven't read any of it, though, so I'm just talking. <laughs> uh, first, Revengers, and I think first Red Queen. Not positive. Still a cool book. Um, but yeah, they had pretty much most of that Anex run. Let's see if I can grab the rest of them. Because I bought some, and then the next time I went, I picked up some more. Um, oh. I think these are the Hope Pym. Yeah. I think uh, this is the preview or the, the cameo of Hope Pym. And then First Big Hero 6. What? Is that in here? Or is that that other issue? Um, um, and then there's the first full of Hope Pym. So, keep going. I don't know. That's where it stops. They didn't have any other ones. <laughs> I guess. Uh, wait, what? Did I miss it? No. Okay. Um, let's go with a disappointment. Yeah, no. I, I, I know. Um. Wolverine, 131. This book breaks my heart every time. They were covering the label, so I couldn't sneak a peek at it, even though I wouldn't have, because I, I want I want to crack it open and be like, there's that recalled issue. Nope. That crap again. I keep buying the same one that's not recalled. Um, got like four copies of that. But I guess I can't complain, because I did find that Mission Impossible recall. So... I mean, I guess I'd rather find the more rare one. Either way, I guess let's pick it up with something that's not a disappointment. Boom. Avengers 486. I'll let that sit for a moment. I had forgotten about this issue. I actually saw this issue when I was a kid. I didn't know what was going on in it. And so I saw it. I, they put it in the, the Key Collector app, and I was like, wait. And it clicked. <laughs> I know you have <laughs> That's what reminded me. Um, but yeah, if you okay, you might want to shield your eyes if there's any kids in here. Now's the time to not look. So, if you don't know what this issue is, it's a little bit of freaky between Ant Man and uh, Wasp. 
Wow. We're about in the same boat, but different books. So, you know, Vegas. Whoa, take it easy there. Where are you coming out of, Ant-Man? <laughs> but yeah, so, uh, yeah, it's one of those issues. Saw as a child, and here we are. <laughs> so, uh, it's just a funny find. Oh, and it is a, it's a, right, it's a Joel Jones, J.G. Jones. I can't, those two Joneses, I get mixed up with. Um, let's go with some, some weird books from the con I found. So, uh, I've seen these before. Um, unfortunately, I don't think it had the one with the first Iron Man. I think that was a couple issues before, but I was able to get six, and these were two bucks a piece. Terrible condition. Terrible. But I told my wife, I like to think that, um, this guaranteed or your money back Sears thing, piece of tape, some kid back then was just like, oh, the book's falling apart. Sears. Because, I mean, what's more I iconic for the past than Sears? Anyways, I'm just rambling. Um, I got six. And oh, there it is, five. And I can't wait to crack these open. Like, I hope, I hope that they don't fall apart when I open them. And four. And I should have said it has Tales of Spins 41. Strange Tales 111, Fantastic Four 7, Fantastic Four 8, Tales of Suspense 42, Strange Tales 114, Hulk number 4. Oh, crazy numbers to be saying. Um, what's down here? Oh, these don't have the numbers. Uh, Tales of Suspense 43, um, 115, Strange Tales, Hulk 5, Fantastic Four 9. So... I mean, if you get these, you can just kind of read them in order, which is great, because usually they just pick and choose. Um, let's pop back over some Black Hat. I got this one because I got this one. If anybody else is new in the chat. Hey. Oh. Um, anyways. Uh, so, uh, what if Spider-Man had married Black Cat? Uh, I still need the one, the, the actual marriage issue with him and MJ. That's one of those books that I just can't find. For a reason, price. I don't pay a lot. Um, this is one of those books I I stupidly bought. I just love this cover so much. I don't know why. I think it's just from my childhood. I see it and I'm like, damn, Superboy's cool. And so, yeah, signed by a Grummet. Grummet. I don't know how to say his name. But I'm trying to find like every version of this. So I got a signed one. New stand. Regular. You know, I think it'd be cool to have them all. Hey, what's going on? My dog's falling asleep. Okay. Green Lantern number four. Uh, just a, a cool cover. Larfleeze number one. Hopefully it'll be a good read. Like I said, I've been on a Green Lantern kick. Including this. I basically went and tried to look up a bunch of lanterns that maybe, you know, they could pull from. At some point, and I was trying to find first appearances. This is the first appearance of a member of the Star Sapphire. Her name is on the tip of my tongue. Let me crack it open and find it. Um, I just thought she looked like a badass. She's got like a, a vendetta against uh, Jon Stewart, I think, because he, he led to the destruction of her planet or something crazy. And then this one, she's like trying to kill Kyle. Um... Oh, uh, what is her name? If I wasn't on my phone, I could crack it open. Yeah, that's that's what. Well, for some of these, I was using that. Um, I don't know if this one's listed on there, cause like I was going through like, I just googled list of green Green Lanterns. I think at the time I was looking for female Green Lanterns, cause. I only knew like Jessica Cruz and a couple others, and um, she popped up. What's her name? Um, I started making a list, checking it twice. You know, ooh, stream crashing. Um, okay, I hope hope it's still working. 
Oh, 40 minutes. Dang. Okay. Her name's Fatality. So how, how cool of a name is that? Um, I think, I guess in this one, she's a... I think she has a ring that she's using in this one, but she's not actually a Green Lantern. Because I could have swore she was a Star Sapphire. Um... Oh, damn, look, look at that. That's cool. Um, so yeah, that's her first appearance. And uh, Green Lantern number 83. And then when I found that one, I found Green Lantern number 99. Another female Green Lantern. Who's this? I thought, well, if they don't know, it's probably a first appearance. And I actually think it is, but I think it's like this chick's only appearance. She's not relevant. I think, or is this the one? Oh, you know what? I lied. This is the one where she's like a descendant of Kyle Rayner. Um, so, like, why why are we not specking on this girl? She's like a daughter, granddaughter of Kyle. Like, I mean, I think there's some things that just fly under the radar like that. I'm not actually. I'm not sure if this is her first. It might be '98. That's her first, but. Um, that could be a character to watch out for, especially with all the talk about the Green Lantern Corps movie. I mean, who knows who they're going to put in that. Another controversial book found. This is my second copy of this one, Doctor Strange 15 with the the Amy Grant, I believe. And um, how she sued Marvel and won because cause, uh, I guess she's a Christian singer and they have her with the likeness of the devil. Oh, my gosh. Um, anyways. Uh, I've also been picking these up when I see them. Amazing Fantasy number three. Um, I mean, if you guys are down, I still got a big old stack back here. Uh, I just need to put these in a the long box. Um, all new Wonder Woman 600. Um, just a gorgeous cover, and it's actually got an introduction. Oh yeah, um, yeah. She uh, she sued Marvel and won, so it's definitely an interesting book to have. Um, I picked this one up when I was going on my my MJ kick, I guess, after I picked up that first, and it's uh, one forty three, and I believe it's the first. Uh, MJ Spider-Man Kiss. Um, ooh, I need to switch the tape. Nothing gives me chills like the wrong kind of tape on here. I've had too many tape pulls. Um, they actually had the issue too where he proposes to her and she turns him down. I think I'll probably pick that one up if they still have it. Um, oh. Not necessarily Spider-Man. Peter Parker, MJ's first kiss, I should say. It's still a cool book. Um, no, I, I found this one at Second and Charles. Didn't realize what it was until I got home. Uh, Spider Gen number five. I just thought it was a badass silk cover for my collection. Nope, it's a one in fifty, I believe, or something crazy, and I had no idea. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Um, I usually use the blue painter's tape, which I don't have any books with it on there. Actually, there we go. Boom. Yeah, it definitely is. And I only paid cover for it. Um, that's kind of why I like going to Second Charles on Wednesdays, because sometimes they get books like that. And, like, I know they didn't buy 50 copies of that, so I don't know how they got it. But it was there. So, I mean... So were these. I guess they got in a shipment of back order stuff from another store. Ooh. Wonder Woman 17 Rebirth. Jenny Frizen. Gorgeous cover. This was one of those ones that I think is definitely underrated. 25. Ooh. So good. So good. I remember when this was a pricey book. I don't think it is anymore, but still. Ooh. Um, I have some more somewhere. Like I said, these are all out of order. 
this was a thing that I was collecting when I first got back into collecting is around the beginning of Rebirth. Um, I wanted all the the one shots, the two covers, and I could never find them. Um, I have quite a few now. This is one of the ones I needed. I really love this cover. This is a I don't know which one's A or B, but still, that is great. Also got this one, the Titans. This one, which I think is the first appearance of Godspeed, but that's an ugly cover. My gosh, that, that's the worst flash I've ever seen. Um, And then this one, this one's a gorgeous cover. Um, Another, I think this is also the first Godspeed. Um, got this one, Deathstroke. I guess I was missing a lot of the ones that just had the character on them. I think I have the other ones. Batman Beyond. And Aquaman. So yeah, I definitely need to check my list and see what see what else is going on. Um let's do this. Another copy. See, I told you I love this cover. I can always buy it if it's a dollar. Um I'm just printing it up to hold this because I snagged this for a dollar too. Spider Woman number six, the variant, J. Scott Campbell. I think I have the silk one or the one that has silk because I don't think she's on the cover to her book or something weird. So, yeah. Hopefully, I can find the other two with that connecting cover. Spider Woman, Omega. That's a badass cover. Um, I know the craze from this is dying down, but I still love that. And speaking of which, I think with the way things are going, that this character design could and definitely should be used. Radioactive Spider-Gwen. This is the Horseman of the Apocalypse variant, number eight. How sick is this? Like, if they use this, yeah. Shoot, my long box is going to start looking like a shot from back in the day with all those unsold books. <laughs> Yeah, like that that is just an amazing design. Like if they use that, I don't even know. Yeah. Um you should see that there's one with the black widow. That one's terrifying. Like she's got all these black widow spiders crawling over her face. It's also one of the apocalypse covers, but I mean, they should use this as a character. Um I don't know what this is. Battle Beast. I just got it because it was a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Limited to $2,000 bin. Say no more. Oh, yeah, that would be an awesome Marvel Legend. Um, oh, I'm going to have to go get I picked up a few. Did you get any Marvel Legends from that Walgreens sale? I picked up three. <laughs> um, uh, the next book I got. Was this Wonder Woman? Wonder Woman's the only book I have on pull still, um, and it's just the B covers, mostly for Ginny Frizen. But I mean, this is a weird art, but I like it. I don't know. I don't know. It's oddly satisfying. Got this one. I thought that this one was the one where uh, he actually tells more of the story. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to look at that. Um, but I think it's 53, but this is Nom 52, and it's like a two part story that talks about how the Punisher actually got his skull logo. Which I mean, I don't see how this book is passed up, too. Like, that's such a cool story and concept, but you don't ever hear about it. So uh, that's part one. I didn't find part two. I think part two has the actual scene where he. Like, has the skull, but still. Um, oh, there there it is. Speaking of which, Spider-Woman Alpha, uh, the J. Scott Campbell variant. So, ooh, let's connect them right now. Yeah. Watch these be the two that don't connect. <laughs> uh -oh, there we go. I don't know what they're fighting. Um, but, yeah. So that's going to be cool. Um, I also got this one. Reborn, number one, which actually was a really interesting story. I, I picked it up because of the, the spec hype around it. But, 
I mean, it's it's interesting. Um, my shop has like newer issues that they like put in the box. It's like modern back issues that aren't really sorted out yet or something. Um, they had like ten copies of this. I grabbed one on Friday that the, the video dropped from the top ten. Went back the next day with my buddy because he wanted one. All of them were gone. Next day that we went, they were on the wall and in this the case for like 20 bucks and i was like wow really guys but i mean i guess they gotta make the money i can't complain um my wife's gonna be so happy i finally put these books away um snag this one for three bucks amazing fantasy one first appearance of aranya um probably won't do anything with her but that's still a cool character I don't know what this is. New I Exiles number 17. I thought maybe it might be kind of like a weird appearance of whoever this chick is in the Iron Man armor. I couldn't find out anything on it. Um, I think it's like a rogue from a different planet that has Iron Man armor or something crazy, but kind of cool. You know, still, I need to do some more research on it. Um, I was a sucker for this cover, even though they got me, DC got me by three copies of this $5 book. Um, I bought two of that, that meme version one, cause Superboy, my boy. Um, and anyways, I ended up, I saw this one too and I was like, wow, that is a pretty cover. Yeah, it's a nice one. Um. Let's let's do a little story time. Um, so I saw this. I've been interested in the Death series. I've been wanting to read it. I've heard a lot about Neil Gaiman and stuff like that. And I was like, okay. I saw this and I was like, hey, I think this is the whole whole three part run, right? Couldn't tell any. And I was like, hey, they have two of them. I could read one and have one in the box. No. I made my first mistake. Thankfully, I only paid two bucks, but I paid two bucks for like 10 copies of number three. Like, for real. Second and Charles, they try to pull one over on me. I'm trying to get rid of all their copies of number three. Look at that. One, two, three. Ten copies. I was right. Ten copies of <laughs> death number three. So, you know, slide the book over and check, guys, because then you'll end up with ten copies of death number three. Uh it's annoying. Um oh, these are just Green Lantern books. I'm doing some sorting too. So um Yeah. No, no, no. I'll put this one up. I think I've showed this one before. But I'll just put it up while I'm digging. Another gorgeous silk cover. Um oh, here we go. Got this one from my brother-in-law, Catwoman 50. She looks sick in this costume. I don't know what, what the deal is with this, but it's also kind of got like a hollow, a light hollow on her armor. Um, my buddy got me this one. Um, I'm, what is her name? It's like Mandalorian or Manda something, something with an M, I think. Um, but it's like Psylocke's first appearance as that character, which is badass. So I, I can dig that. And then he snagged me this one. Because he knows his man right there. It's my best book. <laughs> uh, JSA Classified number one. I usually don't don't really like the, uh, the uh, Amanda Connors art. But I really like this one. I mean, even besides that. But like, it's a good cover. Um <laughs> oh gosh I didn't even look because I know I wanted some of those thousand and I did the same thing with the action comics like when I saw the press tag I was like nope put them back um see. Oh, I can't bring it back up oh there it is right this one <laughs> yeah that is that's a great window um and so these actually came with that lot the my with the sign book. So it had another copy of 51 and then 50. 
And like, I'll, I'll buy those all day. I'll keep those all day. I think those are great books. And then my brother-in-law picked me up that really awesome uh, foil cover. I love that one, too. Um, and then another cat one. Like, what's up with that Batman? That's like, that's a badass Batman. I need to, I need to read that. Um, got this one. Renew Your Vows, number one. Um, that was a pretty good story. I, I didn't finish it completely, but from where I got, it was good. Um, I like that costume, the MG in that costume. Yep. And I actually found this one, too. It's the, the Hastings. Oh, Hastings. I miss Hastings. Hastings variant. Um, I'm guessing it's a connecting cover with another one. But still, it's got, like, all these moments and stuff. Awesome. Oh, forgot about this book. I also got this one. Um, number 25, ASM. It's the cameo of Mary Jane. So, like, within the span of a month, I got her first appearance. And I got the cameo by accident and didn't know what it was when I got it. I was like, okay, cool. Old Spider-Man. Uh, actually, I think this one was $2. It's like, all right, I'll take it. And then I looked it up and I got home and I was like, well, that's perfect. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> I'm hyped. Oh, and it's the first appearance of like this J. Joan Jameson robot thing. Um, but I'm gonna top that with Gumby in 3D. Like, I don't know, not none of my friends or any any of the younger kids. Oh God, it's an old now. <laughs> um, any of the younger people know what Gumby is. Like, I grew up on Gumby. Gumby created my imagination, and to find this 3D comic that had the glasses, I didn't know the glasses were in there, I was like, oh, this, I'm going to get this anyways, and I opened it, and they fell out, and it was just perfect, $2, Gumby, um, but yeah, Animaniacs, um, Pulp Fiction, I didn't know this existed, I have the Hulk one with She-Hulk, and now I have this one, so that's pretty cool. And I just kept it rolling with those homages. There we go. Beatles. But X-Men. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I didn't know this one existed either. Um, it's fantastic. 50 cents, too. But I had I didn't even notice it. Like, I picked it up, and I was like, oh, okay. And I'm glad I picked it up a little more, because I wouldn't have recognized it at first. Um, but that's number 30. Which one are you talking about? This one or the uh, Pulp Fiction one? Um... Dollar bin. That's why it pays the weight. Art germ. Dollar bin. I didn't want to buy this one when it came out. Uh, that was at the beginning of the, the art germ hype train. Um, it's a gorgeous cover, though. I do like how in the second printing, he has her winking instead of like this. Like, that was clever. Um, let's see. I picked these up. Okay, so if you guys are into the, the top ten list, I keep talking about it. Just because I think it's fun to find them. For cheap. Um, I actually... I think I saw this on, on Daz's video first. And I was like, okay, I'll look for it. And I like going to the shop on Friday when the list drops. So I'm in the shop and I'm looking through the list. And I'm like, oh, there that is. Three bucks before they mark it up. And so, yeah, I snagged two copies of that one. Detective Comments 854. That's the, the first appearance of Alice. Who I guess is going to be the, the villain. And if you, well, I don't, I don't know if that's a spoiler or not, so I'm not gonna say it. But Alice has some significance to Batwoman, um, so yeah. And I saw this in somebody's video. I don't remember who. So if you guys saw, it, definitely drop their their name below. But it's Avengers Dark Reign, the list, and it's a one shot. And as you can see, that's Ronan's hand right there. So whoever showed it was telling about how the significance with the everything that's going on with Ronan right now. So I definitely want to read that one and then probably package it with my Ronan books to sell. Cause like, like I was talking about uh poor man, uh, I have a ton of those Ronan books cause before the top 10 list and all that stuff. Oh yeah. Wow. What a coincidence. Um, before the top 10 list, like I was, I was specking hard. I was like picking up these books. People were like, Oh, uh, here's the first appearance of this person. They might be in this movie down the road. Okay, bought it. And now it's like, hey, this movie's coming out. Did you pick up that book? 
Bad Avenger. Yep, that's who it was. Bad Avenger. Don't remember what he said, but shout out to him. Um, but yeah, so now I've got all these books that are now hot because I specced on them years ago. Like, last year, the year before. I mean, like, you just got to get in the game before before anything else. Um, but yeah. Um, this one. I don't know if anybody will recognize this. Um, ironically, the book that it was second print. Hmm. I didn't even know there was a first print. So, uh, so yeah, that, I'll have to look for a second print. But that's the first copy I've ever seen of that other book. So, um, But yeah, the, the, the book that I think this is referencing was on the hot list the same day that I found those other ones too. Um, but it's the first appearance of Dolphin is the one it's referencing. And it's kind of like this beautiful green color. The other one, I don't have it. It's too expensive. But like this dude's not here. And it's like this bright green dolphin. And she's swimming. She's not in pain. So <laughs> that's a funny book either way. I mean, not for, okay. It's just a funny reference, I should say. Um, Animaniacs. I found this one with that other one. Number 11. Uh, I guess it's the last issue, and from what I've learned, last issues are usually the hardest to find, so, I mean, dollar could be something. Definitely gonna get it. Um, this one, I, I have never seen this cover before. I don't know who the artist is. Um, I can't read that. Whoever that is. Sorrentin, maybe? This, this is a gorgeous cover. Like, that's that's terrifying. That makes Atrocitus terrifying. And so, I mean, I, I picked it up and I was like, I don't really need this book, but man, that's a nice cover. So I ended up getting it. <laughs> oh, just crossed that hour threshold. Wow. Um, so here we go. That was a book everybody got. It's that, uh, what is that? 58, Harley Quinn 58. Um, really liked the art, but then I saw the one that came out this week and I'm kind of like, okay, I'm kind of over it. Um, but I like how much is going on in this cover, like, all the little, like, the artist put a lot of thought into this cover, um, so respect for that, but I also don't really like the horizontal ones, so instead of horizontal, let's get some big bard action, ooh, that's a woman right there, um, I haven't read this one yet, Female Furies number one, what? Well, see, now you show, now, now I look dumb. Um, okay, well, I guess I'll be on the hunt for that. Other. <laughs> thanks for, thanks for letting me know that. So, that is not the last issue of Ani Animaniacs. Um, to go along with that, though, the Big Barda, uh, I actually found this one, Earth 2, number 11. And I, I heard somewhere that it's actually the first appearance of, like, the modern Big Barda. So, I mean... That might be a book to find if you can't find a cheap copy of her other first appearance. Um, here's a book I've been trying to find forever. Uh, Adventures of Superman 465. It's the first appearance of Hank Henshaw. Which, I mean... Uh, thanks, man. Uh, take care. Um, I found out... I, I didn't know anything about Hank Henshaw until... Um, I hate to say it, but the Supergirl show, I was like, oh, okay, that's this guy. Um, and then, so I, I had been looking for that book since then, and I finally found it in the dollar bin, so definitely worth it. Also worth it, Ghost in the Shell, number seven, uh, of an eight-part series. I mean, this art is, like, crazy good. I haven't looked on the inside, but, like, wow. Um, yeah, uh... I have a couple of more issues of that somewhere I can't find. Um, this is old news, too. Grumble, number one. It's one of those uh, hidden variants with the, the text. Not the super hard to find. I think it was a thousand. Or, no, maybe it was more. I don't know. Either way, I went into the shop like a week or two after this came out, and it was there. And I was like, okay, I'm not going to leave that. Especially for such a small run. Um, this one, Spider-Geddon, number one, I just really like this variant with, the uh, Penny Parker, 
I think she's got a lot of potential as a character and another one of those books that I was specking on years ago. I used to find the those books in the dollar bin. I have like three or four of them because I was like, this is cool. She's like a robot Spider-Man. Like, how's that not cool? And so I'd pick them up and keep them. I wish I would have found like an Edge of Spider-Verse too, but no, I'll stick with that. Stick with what I found. Um, but yeah, so that's just a cool cover. Found this one. I've been going through that recalled comics and saw this for two bucks. This is, I guess they screwed up with the, the wrong issue or something. This is like the, where they fixed it. And so it's issue number, the real issue number six. So I don't even know what that book is. I was just like, okay. My girl, Hella. Ooh, I love this cover. This is like an underrated cover in my opinion. X-Factor 207. She just looks sick, and I haven't read the second issue of that new Guardians book, but I know that I'm going to shut up because I don't know if anybody's read it. So, anyways, uh -huh. continuing. Here's number eight, A Ghost in the Shell. Another awesome-looking cover. Another Batman book, annual number 13. I've just been on an annual kick lately, so that'd be cool. Speaking of which, Batgirl. Special number one, a really cool Magnolia cover. Um, I didn't even know he had done a Batgirl before, so that's really interesting. And I think this actually has a tie into the the Killing Joke. It's like a prequel or a prelude or something like that. Um, I really don't know though. Like I said, I've been lacking on research. Um, House of M number one. It definitely is. It definitely like everybody's crazy about the fancy. Fancy souped up ones, but man, I mean, there's just something clear cut about that. Like the lines busting through the glass. That's a great cover. Um, House of M number one. I've always wanted to read this series. Um, dollar Ben, I'll take it. Another Dollar Ben. Dollar Ben, a disappointment. <sighs> I can't tell you. I found about four copies of this lately, and I was like, oh, oh, it's the Ultimate Spider Man number one. Oh, this is awesome. And then go and I grab it and I'm like okay buy it thankfully I only paid like a dollar so I mean I can't really complain about a lot of stuff and then I flip it over and I'm like oh it's that coupon it's that coupon and that means that it's that stupid KB Toys reprint oh I can't stand that um but yeah so no my second and Charles had like three copies of it too, and I was like, well, maybe one of them is it. And no, it was not. And I don't know. And popping back to that that cover I talked about, there's that that meme cover of uh, Superboy. I saw this one a while back when uh, ooh, the artist posted it on his uh, Instagram, and I was like, wow, yeah, I have to get that. And I bought the last copy at each of my shops because I, I just I think this is one of my favorite covers of this year. Like it's just so good. Um but yeah. I'll do this one. Green Arrow and Black Canary number one the wedding special. Um I mostly got this because I kinda like picking up wedding issues and it was actually a really good read. Um it's got me wanting to read the next part of the series because it's such a good cliffhanger. So I actually might pick up the next issue on this. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll skip over some more Green Arrow. found this one in the dollar bin, and I was like, wait, is this from that one run? But no, I think this is actually a reprint of that Neil Adams run. And uh, it's where <laughs> uh, Green Arrow and the, the drugs and all that stuff, you know. So yeah, I thought that was a cool cover. And... Uh, some nice Neil Adam goodness. Um, this is another one of those ones I just picked up because I was curious, looking for something new to read for a dollar. It's a Real Heroes number one. I know absolutely nothing about it. So, yeah. I mean, if you read it, let me know how it is. Um, oh, damn, my stack's dwindling. Uh, snag this Green Lantern's Annual number one. It was a decent read. Um, wouldn't have paid five bucks. Glad I only had to pay two. So, here's that. 
snag me some uh, Firefly. This is uh, Serenity number one, and it's actually a local comic shop day variant. So I don't know if there's any indication of how rare that is because that, that Green Lantern one went crazy. So, I mean, this being an older book, I don't know. I don't know what the ratio would that be. So, I mean, that might be cool. Um, pick this one up. I wanted this one for a while. I didn't want to pay more than a couple bucks for it, though. And uh, Dark Horse Presents, number 36. This is the first time Alien vs. Predator happens. Badass. I love Xenomorphs. They terrify me. Um, so, yeah. I really want the first appearance of the, the Xenomorphs, but haven't had a chance to get that. Um, picked up a book off of my 2019 want list. Captain America 405. It's that first Cap Wolf. I've uh, been wanting this book for a while. I always thought it was really cool. And to finally find it for four bucks, I was like, yep. Didn't hesitate to buy that one. Um, random Jenny Frizen cover. The Last of the Greats, number four. I don't know. Just recognized her art. It's cheap. Got it. Finally got me a copy of Static X, number one. First appearance, Static X. Uh, loved the character when I was a kid. So definitely excited to see that. NYX, No Way Home, number four. And number one. Series that I was interested in reading and picking up. Uh, I want to learn more about that character. I know X-23 gets all the love, but uh, I want to know what this chick's about. Um, snag me some Undertaker books. I didn't even know existed. Undertaker number zero from Wizard. Number one. And I think there's a difference in these. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't know. Uh, number one and number one again. This one's like the photo variant and that's the regular version. But I mean, I didn't even know Undertaker had a comic. So just like I also didn't know there was a nine rings of Wu-Tang. <laughs> that's badass yeah um, I need to find out if there's more to that that run I'd love a Kane comic, that'd be cool um, but yeah so there's that I don't know what this is, I just saw Wu-Tang and I was sold so got me a Savage Dragon, number one dollar, not gonna turn that down um I'm in a stacking room. Let me do Battle of the Planets, number one. Some gorgeous Alex Ross art, I, I think. I'm uh, hoping they're wrong. Um, oh, and that's the princess. It's that, I guess, the uh, focus is on her. I don't know anything about these. I just love the art, and they look kind of badass, so I kind of want to pick them up and see see what they're all about. Um, another copy, number three. Uh that first J. Scott Campbell art. Vertigo preview. Um, I don't know anything. Um, I mostly got it because it had a rendition of Death on there. And I just think she kind of looks badass. And so definitely one that I, I wanted. Um, some more Aranya. Uh, issue 2. Mark Brooks uh, cover, too, I believe. Yeah. And so, is issue two, issue six, and we're going to go rapid fire because I got a phone call. Ghost Rider Director's Cut, really badass looking cover. Number one, special edition, dollar. I don't know what this is. It was flipped around when I bought it, so I thought it was something else. So I was kind of disappointed when I saw that. Um, but yeah. And then, number three. Serenity, two, Seren that's a Joshua Middleton cover, by the way, two Serenity, one Serenity, didn't know that existed, and then, boom, what is this, swimsuit, number one, that, all right, there's, the artists in this book are just crazy, like, let me just list them off, got, hmm, what's this say right here? Shield your eyes if you got kids. <laughs> um, 
some fantastic look. Jeffrey Scott. <laughs> it is? Huh. I just saw it and I was like, that's Middleton, I think. And I cracked it open. I was surprised. Adam Hughes, Jim Lee, some more J. Scott Campbell, Alex Garner, like, oh, and then it lists Jeffrey Scott, and then down here, J. Scott Campbell. He must have matured by the end of the book. Um, But yeah, like, some of the, the art in this book is just fantastic. Like, I don't want to show it all, because, wow, that's crazy. I think I paid... I paid three bucks for it. Oh, I took the sticker off of that one. I think so because I paid two to three bucks. Um, yeah, I wish I could show all the art in here, but some of it probably isn't too appropriate. Um, but yeah, this is definitely a book. I think if you like beautiful characters drawn by great artists. Definitely keep an eye out for it. So, image, Omar Studio swimsuit special number one. That's a mouthful. Um. So yeah, I think I'm gonna call it quits right there. Ooh, feels good to finally get those books out of the way. Um, hour and sixteen minutes. Thanks for sticking through a whole way, poor man. I really appreciate that. Um, I'll be having some more content. I want to make some videos for some contests and. Uh, Oh, and if I find another copy of that, I'll definitely I'll snag it for you. But hopefully there, there's one at Second and Charles. Um, but yeah, so uh, thanks for everybody else that dropped in. Uh, I'm sure nobody's going to watch this on the replay. It's an hour and 17 minutes. But if you're brave enough to and you make it this far, shout-outs 